guys, it's Hey Hey and welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know, I'm a BPTC student currently studying in City Law School, London. But for now, due to the coronavirus outbreak, I'm currently based in Malaysia. Other than passing the BPTC course, I need to become a member of one of the four ins of court. And I need to participate in at least 12 qualifying sessions at the inn in order to practice as a barrister in UK. Among the four inns, Lincoln's Inn is the biggest and most historical one, and it used to be the inn with the biggest Malaysian community. However, it has been superseded by Middle Temple recently, and Middle Temple becomes the inn with most Malaysians. This video today, I will make comparisons between both inns from several aspects. It will not be about their history, library systems, etc., which you will hear from any of their talks, but true insights as a student member. Also, I have nothing against the other two inns, which is Grace Inn and Inner Temple. For your information, the content of this video is from my personal experience and first-hand hearsay from my acquaintances, so it may be different from what others have experienced. For the avoidance of doubt, please refer to their official website. I've decided to talk about Lincoln's Inn and Middle Temple because they are the inns that I am most exposed to. If any one of you guys are interested in Grace Inn or Middle Temple, I am willing to provide contacts of my friends here. Anyways, here we go. The application process of the INS are more or less the same. You need to fill in the application form and get reference letters from your tutors or lecturers. You have filled in a lot of forms with your computer and it's a similar process, but it's easier now due to the coronavirus outbreak and they're accepting email applications quoting their website. However, things are different when there is no virus. The thing about reference letters is it can be a soft copy printout with your reference typed on it and email it to you. It needs to be originally handwritten, meaning no fax copy as well. The only way you can do it is to find your tutor face to face and get it from them. So if you are now studying in UK but started off in Malaysia and you want to ask your tutors from Malaysia to be your referee, you may need to ask them early and ask someone to get it and post it to you. And the whole application bundle shares the difference. Middle Temple. Middle Temple accepts online application form. Everything can be done in soft copy. Lincoln's Inn. As for Lincoln's Inn, you need to either post it to them or hand to them in person. And the postal rule does not apply here. You are not deemed to have made your application the moment you posted it. It's the date they receive your application which counts. Therefore, you may need to start early if you plan to apply to Lincoln's Inn. It used to be the case where the call to bar ceremony is counted as a qualifying session. And for your information, the call to bar ceremony is potentially the only occasion you get to wear a wig. Because only judges wear wig now in Malaysia, and only criminal barristers wear them in UK. But now, the call to bar ceremony is no longer counted as a qualifying session, so you still need to take at least 12 of them. However, there are some events that can actually be counted as multiple qualifying sessions even though you simply attended a single one. For instance, the residential weekend, which is basically a 3-day, 2-night barrister camp. Okay, it's not technically a camp camp. Here is a pic of me from the residential weekends. It will be carried out in a fancy hotel where you social with fellow students from your inn learn about advocacy, ethics, etc, which of course you need to pay. But trust me, it is very valuable experience and it is counted as three qualifying sessions. And also, the first qualifying session of the term, which is the introductory night, was held separately for London and out of London students. For out of London students, it is counted as three qualifying sessions for one single introductory night. Speaking of which, it reminds me of something. Choosing bar school, London or no London? I know that it is one of the major concerns when choosing a bar school, 
You figure that you will need to travel to London constantly to attend in events, but then London is a very expensive city itself. To be honest, there is really nothing much to be worried about. So other than the introductory event thing, there will be student reps from other bar school who will organize events to be carried out in your own bar school. And to be fair, there is one particular inn with some perks for out of London students. Qualifying sessions is carried out during weekends, but not in Lincoln's Inn. Sometimes it will be carried out for a few consecutive days, for example, every night from a Friday to Sunday. In that way, you can actually save time and money for traveling. And one very important thing, out of London students do not need to pay for their qualifying sessions. Middle Temple will sponsor them, so you only need to pay for your traveling expenses. To be fair, and I need to mention this fact here, if you are studying in London and paying for your qualifying sessions, I noticed that it is sometimes slightly more expensive than Lincoln's Inn. It's not very much, a few pounds for each session perhaps, but I am not sure if this is caused by their sponsoring for out of London students or there is difference in terms of the quality of their sessions. <sighs> Another thing is they have flexible attendance policy. If you're in Lincoln's Inn, you need to notify 10 days early if you can't attend a qualifying session you sign up for unless there are special circumstances. But in Middle Temple, you can always make a phone call as long as you can find a person to take your place, you will still need to pay for it. But by any other means, there are no further consequences. Nevertheless, let's look at the content of qualifying sessions. How people always describe qualifying sessions is a drinking and dining session with judge and barristers and QCs. That is true to some extent, but as a matter of fact, qualifying sessions tend to be more educational and consist of more variety now. It could be lectures, workshops, and karaoke sessions. Living in my own world that happen in Middle Temple. Lectures are similar everywhere. You sit down, the person starts talking, and you start to doze off. But anyway, there is a difference between the inns in terms of Domus Night, which is the dining night you are talking about. Let the feast begin. In Lincoln's Inn, non the members of the inn, judge, barrister, QCs, etc. attend the dormers night regularly. When you sign up for a dormers night, the inn will arrange your seat and most likely you will be assigned with a seat close to a member and you got to talk with them, ask questions, looking for opportunities. There is often one member for five to six students, so it's quite a high ratio if you're asking me. Whereas in Middle Temple, it's a lot more chill. It's very rare to have members to attend dormers night, and you get to pick your own seats and sit with your friends. You can't sit with us. Another thing I want to say about qualifying session is that due to the virus outbreak, inns are now considering online qualifying sessions. It's still at the survey stage, and I have no idea how is that going to work. I'll update you guys if I can. But I want to say that I have a feeling, just my own feeling, that it's going to be a regular thing in the future, virtual qualifying sessions. At this point, I would like to say that at the end of the day, it comes to your own preference. If you figure that bar course is already stressing you out and you don't want to burden yourself more, middle temple events tend to have a lighter tone. However, the point of qualifying sessions is to expand your network and expose yourself to the legal field more. And if you are an introvert like me and find it difficult to do so, Lincoln's Inn will be pushing you. Save your resources. Another tip about resources. I've signed up for the Lincoln's Inn's residential weekend. There are marshalling scheme and the mentoring scheme, and I've got all of it. 
And I want to stress that I am no outstanding student, I'm pretty ordinary, so there is no reason that I can get it easier. And actually, a lot of people I know get it. As for Middle Temple, I'm not sure if it's because they have a very large student body or it's simply limited, but I don't know a lot of people who get such opportunities there. I had invaluable experiences. The judge from Marshalling are all very friendly. They are totally not scary or bad, but very friendly and wise women who are willing to share with me their experiences. My mentor himself advised on my pupillage application and offered me a mini without me asking. And to be honest, I won't change it for any perks. Trust me, you want good food. Not because it's food, but it's good icebreaker. You don't want to start your conversation with disco cheese things. Lincolnians have better food, no doubt. Their chocolate desert is spectacular. But if you're drinking, take a white wine, not the red ones. The members at the high table have better wine, but that's because they pay more expensive member fees. That's first-hand hearsay from a Crown Prosecution. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have anything to share with me or any thoughts about this video, please comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And see you soon.